can categorize the guitar into about five compartments, five divisions. So whenever you're soloing, you should have these five positions in mind. For instance, in the key of J, I can divide the various positions of the guitar into five. So the first shape, the second, the third, the fourth, and then the fifth. But I'm going to only use one shape of it, maybe the third one, two, three. I'm going to try to play all my solos within the seventh and then the tenth fret position. I'm in the key of G, so it's G at C. I'm playing G, but I'm using the same shape of a C. This is a C, right? This, this is how you usually play your C. Assuming there was no knot here, this is how C would have been played with a bar here. In case you want to make C movable, then this will move C sharp, D, and so on till, till you get to J. So we are in J at C. These are the notes you need to learn. So far, me, re, do, ti, la, so far, me, re, do, ti, la, so far, me. So far, me, re, do, ti, la, so far, me, re, do, ti, la, so far, me. In a typical African solo, we usually put emphasis on the major scale and then we alter it a little. Do you understand me? So, do, do, ti, la, so far, me, re, do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti. The ti, which is typical of jazz, we will, we will replace that with a to, do, to, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. That alone, that note alone, is a game changer if you want to sound African. Do, to, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Play the T and the to at the same time. Do, do. So, la, do, so, la, fa, so, mi, fa, re, do. Is that not beautiful? emphasis on the tall and that brings that distinctive sound you hear in many African solos. We don't put emphasis on the tall alone. Sometimes mm. instead of going to do, so far me re, instead of do, we, we will not play do but we will sharpen the do to a D. So so far me re, di, re. so far me re, di, re. So in a typical African solos these are the things you hear. Things like this. We make use of the major scale and the chromatic scale a lot. Before we introduce the blues, the diminished, the altered scale sometimes. So first, before I start taking you through a practical example of what I'm saying, learn these shapes. One, two, three, four, five. And keep in mind that you can solo in whichever territory you want. But for today, I'm going to do my solos here on J at C. So, take your guitar and follow me. Most of the time, we love to dance as Africans, so our rhythms are straightforward. What do I mean? Our progressions are straightforward many a times. We can have J, C, D, J, J7, C, D, J. And we can play this for as long as we want.
like this. What do you play on? In a typical African solos, we put emphasis on certain notes. The dominant seventh note, the flat seven. So, do we be for solo? And we 
are playing all this within the C shape of a gene. You can call it gene at C because we are using the C shape, but we are in the key of gene, right? African guitar solo. Man, listen. De-re, 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 de-re. So now I'm going to introduce that in. solos we don't bend strings like it is done in jazz and other genres right but we do with the notes. Do so la do la so fa mi re mi fa and then on the five form the chord fa so do Pastor George and Kuma Mensa, you know me as Jispras. Yes, I'm in town. In case you haven't subscribed to my channel, the best time to do is now. Because we have a lot of interesting stuff. Not just videos, but useful videos. And any video has a message for you that can push you forward. In case you want an online guitar lesson, please pick the numbers on the screen and let's do it. Yes. We are doing it, many are doing it. It doesn't matter wherever you are on this continent. It is done. Pick the numbers, give me a call, a WhatsApp line. Let's schedule a Zoom meeting and you can play. Whether you are a beginner, an intermediate or an advanced, this is an opportunity for you. See you again and soon.